All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series in 3v3. This is episode number six, and for today, we're going to be Granny Lotus. So thank you so much to AJZ for this uh, this wonderful recommendation. Uh, of course, Danny Lotus is my editor, if you want to say hello. Um, we're going to be making him into a grandma. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's jump right into it. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so first things first, we got grandma. You know, just look it up on, on the, uh, the good old Google. Just look for a good one. I think maybe we got a search for granny instead what am i looking at what is this ah uh, this this will do okay now we need a photo of danny so maybe i'll give him a quick call hello yo you got any good photos of yourself <sighs> oh god <laughs> um you know what we'll go fresh i'll take you one right now all right perfect what kind of what kind of facial expression do you want what, what does a granny look like <sighs> maybe, maybe like squinty <laughs> eyes Okay. <laughs> All right. No, no second takes. This is what you get. There you go. <laughs> That's my my impression of a grandma. Dude, why is this photo so huge? What is going on? Your your camera is amazing, Danny. Can I just mention it's 4:30 in the morning right now, and I'm turning Danny into a grandma? Like, what is my life? Dude, Danny, where'd your chin go? Oh. Oh no! Gotta gotta age you a little bit. I'm not really sure. You know, I'm just gonna change the colors a little bit. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is terrible. Why did you look? Why did you make your eyes look like this? What kind of what kind of facial expression do you want? Maybe like squinty eyes. All right, guys, we're finally back into Rocket League after making the most cursed photo of the series. This is Granny Lotus, as you saw. I never want to see it again. But you're probably wondering why I'm up at 4.30 a.m., and there's a good reason for it, because for the last seven hours today, I was working with Mr. Swaggles, which if you know Mr. Swaggles, he's a great map creator. We've actually been working together to make a new custom map. So I'm going to add some uh, unlimited boost here and show you guys just a sneak peek. So in the next couple uh, couple days, there'll be the release of this map. It's called uh, the Hive, and uh, if you're familiar with the the channel, you'll know that I made I made the concept for this a long time ago called Worker Bee. And basically, there are two rooms with one ball in each, and the blue player in the blue room is trying to repair the Hive while the orange player is trying to stop them, and vice versa in the orange room over here. So basically, it's a race to see who repairs their Hive first. So anyway, I thought I'd show that real quick. Make sure to subscribe so you don't uh, miss out on that in the future of this week. It should be out uh, later this week. I'm not really sure what day yet. I've got a lot of a lot of videos planned. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for this one. It's been a lot of hard work to get this uh, even close to this. And there's a few bugs that are remaining, but we'll be fi finishing them uh, after uh, we get the first release. But yeah, like I said, make sure to subscribe. You don't, don't want to miss out on that. But anyway, we're going into Champion 2 Division 2. We still haven't lost a game in the series yet, so we're moving up quite quickly. We're at 1222 MMR. Uh, I'm not trying to lose a game, so we're just playing a, as if we're, you know, playing in the rank and trying to support our teammates. We'll jump into the next games and still play with that, that role in mind, and hopefully uh, we get some more wins. But let's jump right into it and see how it goes. All right, for the very first game, we've got um, Imagine Virus, Crow on my team, which is not Kronovi. There's actually another Crow kind of player. The guy's not moving. Good save from Chronic or Chronic. Let's see what Imagine does here. Got an achievement. Look at that. See my uh, teammate trying to push into the corner. I gotta be a little bit careful of that. My teammate should be backing off here. Not the greatest touch from Alpha because it goes up the wall and it should be a good position for my teammate. Kind of miss, but we can wait behind for the shot. That guy should have probably been, been in mid for that shot, so I was making sure to cover that. There we go, get in the way. I'll take this boost as well. It's a good save. Good, good, uh, good save by my Virus. He didn't really expect me to get there though. I don't think I'm just gonna wait on the wall. Keep it nice and close. My teammate kind of stole from me, which is okay. I'll let him go and, and just wait behind. Right here, I gotta be careful with this touch, so I'm gonna make sure it pops off the wall first. And right here, I'm just gonna try and block the guy if he goes. Oh, my teammate bumped me. I'll let my teammate go because he's in a better position. Big clear. Teammate might not reach this. He's making a good touch, a decent touch, but it's back down to the, the opponents. Right here, I'm gonna pop this around the opponent first. And then pop this off the backboard and see if my teammate can follow it. Good try. New third can poop. Uh, poop. Poop in. Nice, dude. Oh my, my brain at 5 a.m. Okay, here we go. We're pooping into the back defense here. And let's see if uh, Alpha makes it clear he does. I can be immediately ready for that pop off the ceiling. Gotta be a little bit careful because my teammates are both pushed up here. I know I can go on this though. 
Hopefully get a block as well. There we go. See if Chronic wants to make a touch. He ends up missing. I got to go for a shot here. Got to at least try for it. Okay, my one teammate ended up overcommitting really hard. I got to be really careful of the bounce in the middle. And there's the shot. So yeah, that's that's going to happen. Um, if your one teammate overcommits like that and this player, uh, Virus, doesn't make a touch here, he ended up going for the boost and then didn't immediately go for the challenge. Uh, so really good touch by IMBK uh, to make that clear over my teammate. So i will play a little bit faster if we want to win this game. I think we got to make a few more shots on towards target as well. So this guy in our corner getting the boost. I'm going to get a demo on him so that way he doesn't waste uh, our boost. And that should be a good, pretty good shot there. So I'm just waiting for it to spill at mid. And the second I see it spill at mid for a free shot like that, this 50-50 and him making a follow-up like that, Alpha missed the boost. And I know he's not really uh, anyone to worry about. And once I see Chronic sitting in the goal, I have a pretty free shot. So just take your time. Make sure you understand that, like, you use all that time that you've been practicing your shots to the top post. Uh, just take your time. Get some good solid power. Really think about the uh, the contact of the ball. That's the most important part. There's going to be someone on the wall here, so I know that. So I'm going to instead just wait for it. Yeah, teammate's kind of panicking. Hopefully he stays close. Okay, they're panicking again. So it's not the greatest position for our team. Hopefully, I can just stay with this and clear to the side. My teammate's kind of jumping at everything, so I got a little bit, little bit aware of that uh, for the next time he jumps on the next ball. All right, decent. Could be good for us. I'm sure to just beat this player. Hopefully, he touches again. My teammate might have jumped up for that. I think he did. They're pretty antsy. They're pretty trigger happy, too. So, I got to be a little careful. That's a really great shot, though. Off the, the top corner, and it's in. So when you have trigger happy, uh, trigger happy uh, teammates, you gotta be a little bit careful with going up for aerials. Um, if you know they're gonna be more likely than you to jump up for something, just let them. You can see Crow's trying to do too much, I think, and that's why he's only at 90 points. He's trying to get involved. <laughs> Maybe it's because of his new hands, who knows. I'll let this guy make the next touch first and then make a touch. Um, if, I, if it goes over my head, then it's okay because my teammates are behind me to cover my position, so. That's sort of the best uh, best case scenario. Once again, Virus uh, playing pretty solid, and he gets another goal for us. He's actually the top leaderboard. It's a really solid 50-50 there off the corner, and, and BK actually kind of missed a, a, a backboard read, I guess. It was kind of a tight angle. I think he could have went up the backboard and read it that way, but he tried to go up for it instead. This ball's going to spill at mid. i got to make sure I cover that position and then back hit it off the backboard. Good try. Let my teammate get into a new position. I'll immediately turn on this because I'm already in the right position for it. I gotta be careful of BK's touch. Is that in? Ooh, what a shot. And there we go. There's a shot from Crow. Really good position there. BK kind of made a, ba a bad touch and then he ended up uh, just kind of skimming it a little bit and Crow got a free touch. But with 20 seconds left, I think that's gonna be the end of the game here. Yeah, they do end up leaving. We end up getting a division up on this one. We're up 28 points. We're still getting a lot of points and this series is gonna be a lot shorter than I expected. Um, but. I do remember this time that in the last three episodes, I have forgotten to check what rank we were at the end of the at the end of the episode. I will not do it today. I promise 100% I will check before I say goodbye. <laughs> All right, now let's jump into the next game. All right, for the second game, we got Rather Be on MC Minecraft and Zen versus Kadaru, Jazz, and Judge. Interesting uh, start to this <laughs> this game here. We got someone who would rather be playing on Minecraft, so hopefully he's at least invested in in the game. Apparently I'm not because I'm getting demoed when he's staring right right at me in the face. Good save off the side here. Just jumping up in the direction. Don't have to change my trajectory. I end up getting bumped off the ball, but hopefully my teammate Zen can pop, pop it down. Way behind here. My teammate touches it. Decent. Pop it over the one. Hopefully I can follow this off the touch. It's a good follow up. Should be hopefully my one of my teammates challenging. Oh. Okay, that was close. That was pretty dangerous. If my teammate didn't jump up earlier and he, he got a better pass, that could have been an easy goal for them. Decent 50-50. It's not amazing because it goes to judge first. I don't know what's happening. My teammate, he ended up jumping as well, and uh, that actually could have been really bad. There's a nice flick off the side, off the top backboard. Should be an op open opportunity for my teammate. Could have probably been a goal if they were a little bit faster. Be clear on the field. Should be a shot here for me. Take it off the uh, off the front. I don't have to air roll at all. I can just go for the, the redirect. Right here, I see Kadaru make a pretty bad touch. He kind of softens the ball for me. That's when I know I can go. Because the other opponent, Judge, is still rotating back towards uh, defense. People at this time of night are actually playing pretty fast. Uh, it's a little messy. 
But at the same time, they are playing pretty fast. So you got to be aware of uh, of that in champ. That people are going to be, you know, trying to chase the ball down. They may not do the best thing with the ball, but you know they'll be trying to play pretty quickly. So, got to be on your toes. So right here, I see this guy chasing up. I can immediately just pop it up. See if my teammate follows it. Decent shot. Good save. I'll take the boost. Let him, see, I'm letting them clear it. My teammate should be here. Good. Yeah, I was scared of him making that touch. Better that he doesn't, because then I can have a free touch. See if my teammate makes an attempt at it. Teammate's still turning away. I'll, I'll, I'll back off here now. You see how I'm just like letting the flow of the gameplay uh, happen as my teammates rotate in and out? Pop off the corner first. Again, off the, the corner. I didn't mean to really have to triple tap that. I could have probably just made a double and then backed off. I could turn on this as well. It's a decent touch, though. Stay with on the wall. It's kind of a unique little recovery, but... A good try. Whoa, 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 <laughs> What just happened? Oh, both my teammates were pushing up. So my teammates are partied up, but for some reason they decided to go super aggressive and they couldn't get back to defend the ball. So that's one thing you don't want to do, especially as like second or third man, is to like go all in like that. You got to be a little bit careful of uh, those opportunities to spill out off of a, a bad clear 50-50. Right here, I'll pop this off the corner first and wait for the touch off the ceiling. And make a shot towards target. It's pretty, uh, pretty fast shot. And, uh, in that situation, I know I can make it because no one's challenging. No one is defending the backboard. The second I see Jazz jump up, then I can make the touch. This isn't your main. Thank you for the compliment. I appreciate it. Alright. I mean, he's right, but still. All right, rather be on Minecraft. Let's see if he makes another touch here. He's gonna try and pinch it close. This guy throws it away to me. Now I could follow this up. My teammate actually ruined both of us. <laughs> so not like it would have happened anyway, but they're not really, okay. Teammate threw the ball away again. You can see all these like touches that are just really low. If you can't get a solid, solid clear, wait for a second if you have space to, uh, to make the proper clear. All right, good pass. Nice. Good pass. That was a really good pass for my teammate. Um, he ended up just popping in middle. He kind of uh, waited for the last second before Judge uh, came in for the challenge. And I just pop it towards any side. Honestly, they could have maybe saved that if they were a little bit faster. But the shot was decent enough. Like At least at least I get it on target. And, uh, you know, there's a chance it might not go in, but there's also a chance it will. So, you never know until you try. I'll let my teammate try to go for this. I probably should have just went up for it, but I don't want to ball chase and double commit. So I'd rather just play the, the game properly rather than not trust my teammates at all in solo queue. Which is kind of how I decided to play. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. I'll bring this around. If I if I try to turn that around, the, the opponent might demo me. So I don't want to go backwards because he might just turn on me and demo. Uh, I'm going to pass this middle. A great shot there. Wow. Great Scott. Really good pass uh, into a play there. Uh, Kadaru once again made a touch that tried to stall the play out, but he kind of just passed the ball to me. When the ball is rolling to his side, it's actually okay if he just like lets it happen. If the ball is moving faster than it is possible for me to catch up to. Um, wait a minute. What is Kadaru saying? <laughs> if the ball is moving faster than it's humanly possible for me to drive to it, um, uh, then... Uh, then you can't catch up to it. And you know it's a free ball for you to, you know, wait and uh, and <laughs> and uh, basically make an opportunity out of uh, a defensive play into a breakaway. Bit of a messy game there from from our team, but honestly, it was all right. I kind of did a little bit too much, more than we expected to, but here we are. And uh, say hi, YouTube. <laughs> Sheesh. All right, next game. Last game, actually. Let's jump into the last game. It is nearly 5 a.m. now. As I said, I am so tired. Yeah, listen to these. Listen to these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, rip. All right, and for the third and final game, we've got Crow in the the game again. He's actually on my team again, so he's 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 back uh, for a second time. We got Peak Manchu, Cornbread Fry Guy, and Dubs. What a series of names at 5 a.m. here. Pop us off the wall. Just to give it away from the opponents. Baited all of my teammates up from that touch, so gotta be a little bit careful. 
This guy ends up throwing it away. Once again, see how the ball is moving too fast? So right here, I'm going to try and bait them in and let the ball go to the back to corner defense. You don't want to always do that because you're going to get end up getting smothered if you get against a team who can hold good pressure. But you also want to like you know get a good balance of holding on to possession for your teammates to get boost if your teammates are low. So you got to kind of get a good gauge of how low your teammates are. People don't usually communicate the low boost thing too often, but it uh, it is helpful sometimes to let your know your teammates know that you're stuck on defense for a while. But it's definitely not an excuse. You should have enough boost for most situations. Right here, I'm just going to stay with this until the opponent's uh, challenge. I might just go in. So I waited for the opponents to get closer. The reason why I don't just throw this right towards net right here is because Fry Guy could be at the wall. Uh, he ends up turning into midfield, though, and then he ends up missing uh, the challenge. And Cornbread wasn't quite ready. Uh, all I had to do was just get a little bit of an air dribble. I know that it's like, oh, yeah, of course. You just got to get an air dribble. But if you just use a little bit of mechanics in certain situations, uh, you will you will find those openings. It's a great shot. I got full boost, so I'm going to try and bring this in mid. Pop it across my teammates. A little bit too high, though. See if my new third can move in. See how we're like keeping that rotation flowing. There's a free ball here. I'll go off backboard. It'll be awkward for them. A great, great positioning. Crow honestly is uh, surprising me after that first game. He was trying to do too much at the beginning of the game, but uh, in the first match. But honestly, ever since then, he's been really kind of popping off. All right. So so far, so good. We got a minute and a half through, and we're already scored two goals. I honestly don't know when we're gonna get our first loss of the series. But like I said, this series might be pretty quick, but that's okay because we can jump into a series of 1v1s on this uh, on this account. I was going to say channel, but same thing, I guess. So right here, I'm trying to make the clear around of the opponent. I see no one's near me, so I'm going to take my time. Maybe pass this middle. Okay, I, I wasn't sure he was going to take it from me right there, but I'll just keep ball chasing. Once again, it's a free ball. It's like a good 50-50 for the opponents. Crow might go up super early, which is super smart. Pop this middle for my teammate. See if we can play off the backboard. See if Crow can go in. Look at these rotations. Nice. Nice play. Nice play. Oh my god, my voice. Woo! 5 a.m. hitting different. Really good pass from Peak Manchu, though. See how he's not going right, right on target all the time? It's like really important to make a balance of on target shots and also going for the backboard when they're not, not quite ready for it. I am last, though. I gotta be a little careful. I know if I go right for this right away, I can get a clear. Just waiting for it to spill into my lap and then I can. Use a side flip to boom it off once it's near the wall. So this guy's going to touch it again. Once again, see how I just do a little bit of a pump fake like that? Teammates aren't quite ready on the defensive side, but it should work out. And that touch right there is, is going to throw them off pretty hard when I when I fake that. that oh my. <laughs> it worked! Oh, they're teammates too, I think. That's pretty awesome. Nice shot. That's a, it's always great when that happens, but it just like shows up out of nowhere. It's kind of funny how it, it, it's kind of like a double commit, but at the same time, it, it was slightly intended, I guess. Right, another greatest pin from me, it actually clears it so far that it's over their net. So I'm going to move behind, become the new third. I don't really want to push up in this corner yet until my teammate rotates out, and that's why I'm going to wait right there. This guy ends up passing it to me, so I'm going to throw it down the field. Would have been better if I passed that to the right instead of down the field, because it just gives away the possession. Teammate almost scored it anyway, but right here I'm just going to take a shot towards target. Cornbread makes a good save. I see Dubs on the ball still. Good 50-50. Go for the shot opportunity. It's good to go for. We got 3-1. Three, three to one. It's like a little bit dangerous, but at the same time, I feel pretty confident that even if that clear goes over my head, it's not too dangerous for us. And here we go. Just pop off the backboard. See if Crow can read it. Good try. Oh, keep it up. Flick it. Oh, I tried to I tried to I tried to redirect it, but it wasn't on target. Well, that's gonna be the next game, uh, last game of this episode. We actually reach 1,300 now, so that should be, I believe, champ three. No, not quite yet. I think we're division four, though. There it is. So yeah, we're division four. Um, honestly, I don't know what to say. This series is going by really, really quickly, and I don't know if you guys like that or not. Like, I know I'm I don't know if I'm covering enough of <laughs> like threes is really hard. You got to think about a lot of options. And I hope that I'm covering a little bit of that. I'm trying to give some insight. It's just that there's a lot happening. So I'm trying to commentate as much as I can of what I'm seeing and what I'm doing. But let me know what I could improve on. I'm always looking for improvements on my commentating during the recordings. I always record these live, of course. So it is very hard for me to think about what I'm doing and also what I want to say. But until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.